Alright then, we're back to Brutal Mode EX Plus, and we're going to be starting off at the fog level, level 4 1. Let's just get into it. So, fog actually has a pretty cool design. Has a pretty nice design. It's basically pool by nighttime with fog, obviously. I mean, that's the whole point. So, we're going to have to think pretty carefully. We obviously want these plants, because there really isn't that much danger. Only basics, cone heads, and jack in the box zombies. So I think that this strategy will actually be pretty good. Only Scary Shroom is the attacker sounds weird, but keep in mind Scary Shroom is buffed to shoot two times instead of once. It's basically like a repeater, so this is, I think, a fine enough strategy. And Doom Shroom is the, as the, basically the clear. So I think this should be fine. This should be just fine. gonna get out and start planting puff shrooms yeah we this should be an easy win i mean we have doom shroom ice shroom puff shroom basically every single broken mushroom plant in the game so it should not be all right so we can actually see where the zombies come from which is pretty fair we actually guessed all of our puff shroom lanes correctly that is really good Sea Shroom should be good to defend. Yeah, just Sea Shroom for now should be good to defend in nighttime. We didn't bring in any lily pads as I think that um, uh, Tango Kelp plus Sea Shroom should probably be enough. Yeah, Scary Shroom is much better in, in fog than nighttime, as you can see. There are no zombies that require a huge area of effect, so we are doing just fine. A Gatling P for 150 sun, that's basically Scary Shroom and Fog if you have two of them. It's inc it's incredible how much value. Alright, so as you can see we have... Sea Shroom, just Sea Shroom should be enough. And, um, uh... Yeah, this level is insanely easy. I mean, you got all the best broken plants in the whole game, so shouldn't be that difficult. Should not be that difficult whatsoever. Yeah, as you can see, this is really pretty much joke difficulty at this point. It's really easy. Really damn easy. This is basically a Gatling P of DPS, so... Insanely good. Ridiculously good. Ridiculously good plant right here. And just Sea Shroom should be enough, again, with Tangle Kelp to defend the water. And easy. Very simply, just clearing out the last wave with doom shroom free win in level 4-1 fog should be the easiest world 
All right, so now we have football zombies, which, yeah. We do have football zombies, which are a bit of a problem, but we also have hypno shrooms, so easy counter. And now we get planter. Now we're actually not going. Oh, wait, why do I have Grave Buster? What the hell? I didn't bring Grave Buster. So this selection of plants should be good. I think, yeah, like this. Because we have obviously Scary Shroom. Now I'm going to see why I'm going to bring Planter in here. It's not just to light up the fog, and it costs 150 sun. So yeah. This is going to be our plant selection. Hypno Shroom to deal with from uh, football zombies and all that good stuff. So Planter is extremely overpowered. Basically what plan turn does is it removes the fog from the whole screen, but not only that the more much more important effect Is that plan turn doubles the attack speed of plants around it, so but that means it basically doubles The damage of plants in a 3x3 area, which for 150 Sun Is ridiculously overpowered just completely Just completely ridiculous Just completely broken. Yeet. Yep, easy claps. After I get my whole sun production set up going, I will show you why Plantern is one of the best plants in the game. Again, after I'm done setting up my whole production, my sun production stuff. There we go, there's our first football zombie. Which I'll be forced to use a Hypno Shroom on. There we go. So there we go. I am going to show you now. Plant turn, go! So now, as you can see, look how much faster the Scary Shrooms are attacking. So it literally doubles the damage of the Scary Shroom. Now a Scary Shroom has the DPS of a Gatling Pee. Completely, insanely busted plant. Just ridiculously powerful. So we are just going to be taking advantage of that for basically the rest of the game. I mean, yeah. Look at this, the DPS of a Gatling P right there. Insanely powerful. Just ridiculously powerful and strong. And now we can start planting even more scaredy shrooms to basically just look how, the, how badly this football zombie is going to die. This football zombie is going to be dying a horrible, horrible death. Look at that, we completely shredded that football zombie because we basically have all, like the equivalent of two Gatling Ps in that, in that lane. Completely overpowered. Just ridiculously overpowered. And then again, we can just use Doomshroom whenever we want because Doomshroom is already one of the best instant kills in the game so easily just destroy 
the whole board except for hit except for football zombie which doesn't die right away god damn it that was a waste of that was a complete waste but nice a diamond And again, Scaredy Shroom also acts as a defensive plant, so we can just put it down. And it will also continue to defend in that way. Just ridiculous how badly we can just bring football zombies to our knees with this setup. And now we can just Doom Shroom as well, just easy. Easily just doom from that entire wave, la la la. Easy. This and this is why Plantern is one of the most busted plants in the entire game. I mean this is just ridiculous. Simply crazy. Just how badly. And again, Doom Shroom isn't quite literally. Yep. Easy Doom Shroom. And just completely obliterate the whole board. Like, who cares? Yep. Plantern is, of course, one of the most busted plants in the game doubles the damage of all plants i mean there really is nothing to say this level is a cakewalk and this combo is truly devastating nothing can last against it scaredy shroom is essentially a gatling p now which is just completely insane plus so defensive plant. i mean scaredy shroom and fog this is why scaredy shroom and fog at night they were horrible but and yeah and now we can just easily doom shroom the final wave to just completely destroy everything, except for the football zombies, which is good, just... had that backup zone. <laughs> what the hell? Well, anyway. Yeah, the football zombies have no chance, and we get cactus. Which will be needed, because balloon zombies are up next. Balloon zombies are up next. So, we will have to bring them, unfortunately, because we have zero other counter. Two... Yeah, there's zero other counter to that. So, what should we bring? Well, we obviously... Alright, so we brought this, then we're... We don't need Hypno Shroom. So that option is gone, so I guess we can bring... This and this. Sure, we can bring Doom Shroom. Why not? Bring in... Of course, we gotta bring in Doom Shroom in every fog level, because... It's Doom Shroom. Who doesn't love Doom Shroom? Who doesn't love Doom Shroom? Oh, the zombies don't love Doom Shroom, that's for sure. Doom Shroom makes their life a total nightmare. Okay, how- Alright, we, I guess, guessed two of the three lanes correctly? That's pretty good. I suppose. Okay then, we're just defending using Puff Shrooms, la la la.
So now it's time to just completely use Scaredy, Sh Scaredy Shroom as a busted early game attacker. And then, time to completely double its damage with Planter, one of the most deadliest combos in the game, to just completely obliterate Fog. I mean, Fog is going to be a complete joke from here on out. And also it clears fog from the whole screen, so now we can actually see what is going on, which is pretty good. Okay, now we immediately need a cactus, which, okay, we need a, okay, dude, no, 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 no. Cactus is also pretty good now as, a, as an early game attacker in general. Alright, so now we got, yay, double the damage. We got double the damage. Pretty damn good. Alright, so now there's probably- oh, and it's already- look at that, it's already the final wave. But actually, now we can just plant Doom Shroom and clear every single Balloon Zombie, so that level was once again one of the easiest levels in the game. <laughs> yeah, these levels are not difficult so far, at all. This world is a complete joke with Scaredy Shroom and Planter. And now we actually have a bit more challenging of a setup. Should we keep the letterhead? I don't know. Maybe not. Let's just re-roll. You know, this is a common strategy that I use. Let's just re-roll to see if we can get a bit of um, a better... A bit of a better, yeah. This looks a little bit better. Again, this it doesn't really matter because we're just going to be using Tangle Kelp to kill them off anyway. We're going to be using Blover because Cactus sucks <laughs> as an attacking plant. And we are just going to be using... What else? What else do we need? Well, we obviously... Yeah, this is the setup. This is the setup as per usual. We are going to be including Blover this time. Because if one pushes back every zombie, two temporarily slows down the whole board, and three pops the balloon zombie. And also we have Doom Shroom, just in case. But we cannot let the balloon zombie reach our house because we lose. The lawnmower does not activate. They fly over the lawnmower, which is realistic, which PVZ1 has not done. It has actually not done it before. So, yeah. Now I get it. It's unrealistic, but it was done to encourage an easier time playing the game. But now, since this is, you know, meant to be brutal mode. Alright.
So yeah, just getting a scaredy shroom in every attacking lane. And see, this is why we also brought Blover to handle situations like that. And now it's time to get the almighty plan turn. Yep. And now it's time for our second plan turn. Completely overpowered, not even not even close to being fair. So yeah, pretty easy, pretty easy way to deal with balloon zombies. Just spam Blover basically, and they're completely done. And they are completely donezo. Now that zombie we kinda just are forced to spend a Doomstrom on, because we simply cannot defend that. So yeah, these are cloud balloon zombies. I'm still actually not that sure on what they do. But what I do know is that they are very annoying to deal with. And I don't know how to deal with them. So we're just gonna have to, again, spend the Doom Shroom. Because I genuinely don't know how to deal with them. But once again, this level is just ridiculously easy because of Scaredy Shroom and Plantern being completely busted, as per usual. This setup is just unbreakable, and this world is ridiculously easy. This world is just a complete joke, and I have nothing else to say. I mean, this world is just such a joke. We literally have Gatling Peas in every row, basically, but how can you lose... If the game basically gives you Gatling Peas for 75 sun cost. And that's about it, we win. Oh, we don't win because they're actually backup dancers. And now we win. Pretty easy level. I mean, so far we haven't even lost a single mower in fog. Which just shows, I mean, Puff Shroom plus Doom Shroom plus Planter. We... Wow, he gave me a free diamond, that's cool. Alright, so as you can see, we want 9 seed slots. As well as the cactail. And that's all we need. We don't need the rake. So now we have nine seed slots and the cactail. Now I'm going to show you why cactail is so absurdly broken. But for now, let's just finish these vases. And let's just finish this. Yay, that was fun. <laughs> well, I don't understand why they didn't make these harder. These definitely should be harder. I don't know why. 
They're still so damn easy. Like, this is just a pathetic joke. Yeah, I'm just spamming plants. Yay, that was fun. Just spamming plants. Let's go. Easy. Easy. We have a bunch of hypnotized bucket heads. That's fun. Alright. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! Pretty easy level. Like, ridiculously easy, actually. Alright, let's just move on. Now letterheads. Letterheads might be a problem, but you know what? I'm not chickening out. We're not re-rolling, and instead we're just going with the flow. And going for the completely absurd busted strategy known as, um, uh... Yeah, this strategy. Ha! Ha ha! Um, wait, is there anything I might need instead? Eh, no. No, there's nothing I need instead. Alright. So we're going for the completely busted strategy right here. Now, for now, we need to get our economy started. That's the most important part. Once we get our economy started, I'm going to show you why this is a completely fair and balanced plant. I've been always talking about fair and balanced zombies, but for once, it is time for me to completely wreck the zomb- Okay. Okay, that is cringe. The first zombie is a letterhead. That is- that is quite fair. I guess that that's what I get. That is- that is- that is what I get. I might actually lose this level. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, let's just use a, um, uh, a stun shroom, you know, a stun shroom. Soon we are going to be getting our first cactail. Like, we should be getting one. N oh, right, I forgot, I'm stupid. Well, that's fine. Anyway, cactail, go! Go, Cactail. Do your thing and just completely wreck all the zombies. And oh look, now I am going to do a plant turn. And now the attack speed of the Cactail doubles. Yeah, as you can see, this is turning into a very stupid stre- Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, this is- look at this. I mean, how is this fair? Like, how is this fair? That's very fair and balanced. Extremely fair and balanced. And now I'm just going to watch Cactail absolutely wreck everything. Unfortunately, we lost a couple of lawnmowers due to stupid letterhead spam, which we could not defend in the early game. But, because I opt, because I literally did not reroll the level, but that is completely fine. Because now we are just going to watch Cactail just completely destroy everything with, what is even happening? <laughs> what is this? Okay, I don't care. Anyway, we're just going to completely... Yeah, two cactails is just broken. Plus, we have Doom Shroom. Plus, we have everything good. Plus! <laughs> Fair 
and not busted whatsoever. Fair and balanced. Fair and balanced. Easy. Fair and balanced. Fair and balanced. <laughs> All right, this is not fair. This is not fair, dude. This is totally just busted. <laughs> Look at. <laughs> busted. Totally busted. Completely busted. <laughs> All right, yeah. Guess so. Guess what's the next strategy gonna be? Yeah, cocktail. For these next few levels, I'm going to be using the same strategy as this. In fact, th these next few levels were such a cakewalk with the ridiculously monstrosity monstrosity known as cocktail. I can't speak for some reason that I will speed up the footage by five or so times to completely just show you how easy these levels were and how much of a joke this world was in general. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright then. Conveyor belt level time. Oh yeah, it's this one. Dark Stormy Night, eh? Alright. Let's do this. Shouldn't be too hard as it's a two flight conveyor belt level, but I don't know where I'm placing my plants. So I gotta be careful for that. Preferably these in the water? No, I don't get anything, of course. Nothing. Okay, thank you. Um, sure. I don't really know. Where's the music? What's going on, man? Why is there no music? This is a bit, well, this is a bit boring. Okay then, this is mad boring, <laughs> there's no music, there's no anything, this is boring as hell. Boring as hell, for real, what's going on? I can't see anything, man. Bro, this is probably one of the most boring episodes of this series, because I either just completely destroy everything, or... That backup, that sorry, that I'm uh, the Jack in the Box zombie was really, really, really useful. Like very, extremely useful for sure.
I don't know at this point. I don't even know at this point. Yay! Yay, spam! And that's it! That's actually it for this video. You couldn't see anything 90% of the time during that, but well, that's it. As you can see by a cabbage pole, we're moving on to roof. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.